for a lot of investors, I am probably the first trans woman that they've ever met, or at least knowingly met. There is a discomfort in the unknown, and I think that that definitely plays into, you know, my ability to connect with investors. A recent study from Startout said that 37% of LGBT founders were not comfortable being open about their LGBT identity in fears that it would, uh, you know, ruin their chances of accessing capital. I really think that it's important to push ourselves to be open about our identity. And it's, you know, indeed important for investors to create an environment where people feel like they can be open as well. It works on both sides of the coin. Pattern recognition gets in the way of uh, an LGBT entrepreneur's ability to raise capital because you don't look like previous entrepreneurs and you don't have the same backgrounds of them. If you can really move the conversation away from bias-ridden ideas like background or identity and into data-driven conversations where you can prove objectively that you have a successful business model or you have traction, the main thing that I've learned is the power of storytelling. We definitely saw a lot more traction when we started telling our own personal stories. These are real people and these are real stories and real problems that people are facing and really humanizes this, this big, you know, scary problem of discrimination. I think there's a misconception in the United States that there aren't very many LGBT people, but there's actually 30 million of us in the US, which is more people than there are citizens of Australia. We also have over a trillion dollars in spending power. It is a unique privilege to get to build a company that serves my own community. I can't imagine doing anything else. Feel free to leave a comment down below and share your story with me or share your idea about how you plan to change the world.